What's going on everybody? So I uh, just wanted to take a second and make a quick video. It's not going to be very long. As you guys know, if you follow my channel, uh, if I like something and I have positive things to say about it, then the video is not that long. Uh, it's only when I uh, want to rant and rave about something that bothers me that my video ends up being 30, 40, 50 minutes long, sometimes even an hour, who knows. But as you can see here, we have in front of us, in front of me, the uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figures from Loyal Subjects Best Action. Uh, it, this are, these are the IDW comic inspired turtles. Uh, decided to kind of like dabble in uh, Ninja Turtles, collecting Turtles stuff and reading the Turtles comics. I was never the biggest Ninja Turtle fan growing up. Like I was aware of them. I had some toys. I watched the cartoon. I watched the live action movie. But it's not one of those things that I like stuck with the same way that like superheroes from like Marvel and DC did. But Marvel and DC have been just like aggravating the ever-living fuck out of me lately. So I decided that I needed some kind of alternative. Uh, I started reading more uh, Spawn. It's not the best, especially when um, Todd McFarlane writes it. But when it's a different writer writing it, it's not too terrible. And then I uh, started collecting more of Todd McFarlane's Spawn figures. And then I was looking for more alternatives. Uh, I already read Invincible, which is kind of like my other go-to. Like the last time that I was really fed up with Marvel and DC and I just wanted to do something else, I went and read Invincible. This time I really didn't know what to do, so I started looking around and I kept hearing a lot of stuff about the Last Ronin comic. As you can see, I got that figure too. That's the NECA figure for the Last Ronin. I started hearing a lot about the Last Ronin comic, picked it up, read it, didn't hate it. I give it a, I give it a solid B minus. Like, it's the lowest passing grade that you could possibly get, in my opinion. Like, for me, anything lower than an 80% is a failure. Like, we're trying to we're trying to appeal to the masses here, right? We're not trying to appeal to some, like, weird little niche group of people. And Last Ronin was good, but it left... My biggest complaint with it is it left me wanting more. Like, the way people were talking about it is I kind of thought, like, this is, like... This is the... This is the Dark Knight Returns of Teenage Mutant, Ninja, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stories. This is the Daredevil Born Again of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stories. This is the 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 Watchmen. The, the, the like this is the real deal here. This is something special. I read it. It was good. It was entertaining. I thought it was a little too short. Uh, a full review of Last Ronin is going to be coming up here soon on the channel, so just stay tuned for that. But long story short, it left me wanting more. Found out about IDW's like full on just Ninja Turtles comic series and how it's like a fr it's, it starts out fresh, brand new continuity. Uh, one of the, the two original creators, uh, Kevin Eastman, was one of the people writing it. So I started getting into that. I'm reading it right now uh, and I am enjoying it. Uh, expect a review of the first like trade paperback, real thick trade paperback collection uh, to also be coming up on the channel. And then when I saw, I was like, started looking for Turtles figures to get aside from the last Ronin one. Uh, I, at first I was like, I should get the movie figures because they kind of are in the same scale and a little bit same. I thought they were kind of like more like the same design of this guy, like they would fit with him. The more I looked at them though, I realized like, no, it's, it's not, it's not the, it's not right. Uh, I, I look at the movie, the movie Turtle figures and they just look a little too... Or I shouldn't say they look too something. They, they do not look cartoony and comic book enough, which makes sense. They're movie figures. I As much as they are like turtles, and I do want them to definitely resemble m turtles in some way, uh, they are also mutated teenage turtles, and they are cartoon and or comic book characters. So I want them to have some kind of like, I don't know, style, flair, something that just gives, makes them a little more, um, I don't know, not cartoony in like a childish way, but in like a comic book kind of way. Comic book art style kind of way. Uh, so with these guys, um, I like them a lot. Definitely glad I finally pulled the plug and bought them. Uh, I had my eye on them for a few months now, and I finally just decided, let's go ahead and do this. They, I am not without my complaints though. Uh, for one, the weapons, especially like Leonardo's swords, flimsy as fuck. 
That's, this is the second Leonardo figure that I had to buy because the first one out of the box, just trying to get the sword into his hand, I snapped the blade at the hilt. So I boxed it back up. Thank God for free Amazon returns. I said, hey, your shit broke on me and they, I got a new one. Uh, speaking of, you know, the shit breaking on it, it broke, the sword broke because one, yes, the sword was flimsy, but two, overall on these guys, the plastic, a lot of the plastic that was used for this, particularly the heads, the hands, the feet, it's a very tough, very hard plastic. It will not flex and bend. You are going to struggle a little bit to get the weapons into these guys' hands. If you don't want to do that, I highly suggest, like, I definitely suggest overall, when if you buy any of these guys or all four of them, take all their weapons off of them and whatnot, remove any and all loose parts, and just kind of soak the figures in really hot water for a while to loosen up, kind of like soften up the plastic, loosen up all the joints, because I'll tell you something else that happened. That's my second Leonardo. This is my third Raphael. The first one that came in the mail, opened him up. I, he had a different head sculpt on his body when he, out of the box. I wanted to put this head on him. So I went to pull the, the head that it came with off of it and the head tore off. The ball joint remained up inside the head, inside the socket, and it just tore clean off. Broke the figure. So I said, okay, sent it back. Next day, another one shows up. I open it up. I go to do the same thing. The head rips off the second one. Rips clean off. So they made the joints, a lot of the joints in these guys, like the... They made them really tight, and then they also used a very, very hard plastic. Uh, they feel durable, and they feel good. They don't feel cheap and flimsy, but at the same time, you know, like, if, if we didn't live in a world where, like, Amazon Prime was a thing, and I could just have another one at the house the next day for free, I'd be really freaking pissed. Like, this when the second one, when the second raft's head tore off and broke... I was, I was pissed. Like I was about to just make a fucking ranting ass YouTube short video about how someone over at this toy company needs to be fired. Um, de something definitely should be done. I don't know if anyone else is having this problem, but it's like you, you've made these figures in a way that shit keeps breaking. You did something wrong. Find out what it is, acknowledge it, and then fix it. Like either the plastic is too hard, you, you made the joints too tight, or a combination of the two, I don't fucking know. I honestly think it has more to do with the plastic being what the type of plastic that it is because I, I, I think it's just too hard. It's too hard and it's too stiff. It doesn't wanna, it's not malleable at all. It doesn't wanna give, it's like a rock and yeah. So other than those two complaints though, these guys look fantastic. These are not the uh, Comic-Con exclusive versions because to be honest, I looked at the Comic-Con exclusive versions and I just thought they kind of looked like, they looked like the Ninja Turtles from the IDW comic that had just been like splashed with like dirty water. I didn't think that the extra like wash of paint that was on the Comic-Con exclusive versions really made them look any better. I actually preferred these. I actually had the Comic-Con exclusive ones pre-ordered and then I saw the difference and I canceled my pre-order. So, I'm glad I got these. Oh, another complaint. So this is a message to all toy companies in existence, not just uh, Loyal Subjects Best Action. Um, when it comes to heads for your characters and you wanna include a head that has some kind of unique facial expression, like some kind of like angry face or a shouty face or Michelangelo, the alternate head he comes with is like, it's meant to be like he's winking. Uh, that's cool. It's a cute idea for people who are constantly like playing with their toys and you know changing up their poses and styling them and whatnot. It's a cute idea. Um, but one of the like laws of the universe when it comes to toy making is every character in toy form ever should always come with a standard neutral expression head. You gave one to Raph. It's a little angry looking, but I mean they're ninjas. They're supposed to be kind of serious. You gave one to Raphael, you gave one to Leonardo, Donatello, his alternate one is smiling like a child, like a happy ass idiot, and Michelangelo's alternate one is winking like an idiot. And also, the way, loyal subjects, the way you did the winking, it does not look good. 
It looks like you forgot to paint an eyeball. That's what it looks like. It does not look good. So it's not a huge deal, uh, but I would have preferred them to all just have like stern, stoic, neutral expressions on their faces. But now for Donnie has to be perpetually like ha struggling to take a shit. He's really constipated. And uh, Mikey, I don't even know what his, he's in the middle of yelling for something eternally, forever. Um, because you guys just didn't know that fucking simple ass rule of you always include a standard neutral facial expression head. Always, always, all the time, every figure, every toy line, every brand, every, everything, always, all the time. Uh, expressions are cool as an alternate option, but there should always be that default of just a standard neutral facial expression. So what do I think of these guys? Final grade. Oh, the accessories are cool. They come loaded with weapons. Like there's, and aside from the weapons being hard to get into their hands, it, I, I like it. I think it's cool. Leonardo only has like his two swords. I think he might've come with like a throwing star or something. Raph has the most, I want to say. Raph comes with uh, his two size, three ninja stars that go on his belt there. And then on his back, he has a pair of uh, these things. Leo just comes with his swords. Donnie, I think... Donnie comes with his staff, and Donnie, Donatello's always been kind of like the techie kind of hero, techie turtle. He's into, like, computers and building robots and shit. So he comes with some other accessories that are, like, you know, tech geek oriented. Um, the bandanas on the backs of these guys, uh, the little tie part portion, that is a separate piece. Uh, out of the box, you have to plug that piece into a hole in the back here. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus. And for some reason, they come with two of them, but like they're not all the two bandana options that they come with for the, the little tails, the tied off bandana tails. They're not all that different. Leonardo has his on. Uh, Raphael has his on. The two, the two options are not all that different. So at least I didn't really notice much of a difference in them. So uh, accessories wise, good. Comic book accuracy, good. Um, articulation is there. Like I said, it's just very hard, stiff, tough plastic. So that's kind of sucks. Definitely uh, soak them in really hot water before you go trying to pose these around and move all the joints around. And then uh, the lack of a, a normal head, normal neutral expression head for Donatello and Michelangelo, also kind of a bummer, but whatever. So I'm still giving these guys like a straight up like eight out of 10. It's a passing grade. I'm taking off a point for the, 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 the way too hard stiff plastic and I'm taking off a point for um, the non, the head sculpt I wish that it came with but didn't. So overall, eight out of 10, that's a passing score. That would, I, I think these figures, these turtle figures are going to please at least 80% of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fans out there, which is the goal. Um, so yeah, then, you know, mission accomplished, success. Uh, as for this guy, I mean, a lot of people know what the deal is with him. This guy's not new. He comes with like, for all you don't know, this is the last living turtle in a storyline called The Last Ronin. I don't know why it's called The Last Ronin. A Ronin was a samurai, not a ninja, whatever. Um, it's one of the turtles, one of these four right here. He's the last one alive. The rest of them have been like murdered and betrayed. And he's on a mission of vengeance to, for his brothers. He has, uh, he has weapons from each, uh, turtle. And they did that on purpose so that like, you don't know, you start out reading the comic last Ronin and you don't know who this turtle is. You don't know which one survived. So you have to kind of like wait and get a little farther into the story to find out who it is i'm not going to spoil it uh go ahead and read the story it's pretty good like i said it's overall this is all like just like eight out of ten stuff it's like it's it's passing but it's barely passing like if there was one additional thing wrong with these guys here i would be like these things are absolute pieces of shit garbage do not buy them ever and yeah so yeah that's my review my little take on these Turtles figures. I hope we get more from the IDW stuff because I am going to continue to read the comic. I know that there is an IDW Shredder that's supposed to go with these guys. He's gonna be coming out soon. I do have him pre-ordered. And I might get some more Last Ronin figures. 
We'll have to see. I know that they've done more with the Lash Ronin comic book series. Like they went back and like filled in some of the years where Michelangelo was like traveling the world and he was like first getting over the deaths of his brothers. Oh, damn it, I just spoiled it. Oh, well. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, well. Uh, so yeah, it's, um, there's more to the story for Lash Ronin. I know there is, but it's the fact that like, I have to go read like prequels and sequels in order to feel like I got a full story. I feel like just the graphic novel in graph, if I pick up a copy of The Last Ronin in graphic novel form, it should be, it should feel like a complete fulfilling story. And it just leaves me wanting more. It, it kind of, I feel like it's lacking. But anyway, I feel like I've ranted long enough. That's my take on these guys. Let me know what you guys think. Leave some comments down below. Get a discussion started. Anybody else have these? Anybody else have the issues that I had with them? Leave some comments down below. Let everybody know. If you like this video, please hit the like button. It really helps out my channel. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I post new videos. If you want to help support the channel even further, check out some of my other videos and maybe subscribe. Other than that, I'll talk to you guys later.